Section 10.8, Computer Graphics. Suppose that we want to visualize a three-dimensional object by displaying various views of it in a video screen. The object we have in mind to display is to be determined by a finite number of straight line segments. As an example, consider the truncated right pyramid with hexagonal base illustrated in the figure. So we kind of uh, take the pyramid and we just display a number of straight line segments so that we can try to visualize this three-dimensional object in 2D because we're doing it on a flat screen. We first introduce an XYZ coordinate system in which to embed the object. As in the figure, we orient the coordinate system so that its origin is at the center of the video screen and the XY plane coincides with the plane of the screen. Consequently, an observer will see only the projection of the view of the three-dimensional object onto the two-dimensional XY plane. As an example, the top view represents line segments of the truncated right pyramid with hexagonal base as they would appear in a video screen. The bottom view is the top view subject to the following five transformations. Let's uh, scale it by a factor of half in the x direction, two in the y direction, and one third in the z direction. Translate it half a unit in the x direction. Rotate 20 degrees about the x axis. Rotate minus 45 about the y axis, and then rotate 90 about the z axis. We'll construct five matrices, M1 through M5, associated with these five transformations. So for M1, we're supposed to scale by a factor of half in x, so we'll put half for x, and zero, zero for our scale. But then we need it to be um, scaled by two and y, so we'll put a two for y, and then one third for z. So that'll be our M1 matrix, now we need M2. So that's a translate half unit in the x direction. So we'll just put half for all of the x's, however many there are. Don't know how many um, different points I'm translating, so I'll just keep going like this. Just uh, has to be half for all of them and zero for y and z. Okay, so that's M2. Now for M3, we need to rotate. So I'll get uh, cosine 20 degrees, minus sine 20 degrees, sine 20 degrees, cosine 20 degrees, one for X and zero otherwise. Okay, for M4, it's similar, except that now we're rotating about the y-axis. So we'll have cosine minus 45 degrees, and then zero sine minus 45 degrees, and then zero, one for y, zero, and then minus sine minus 45 degrees, zero cosine minus 45 degrees. And then last but not least is M5, rotating about the z-axis. So cosine 90 minus sine 90, sine 90, and cosine 90. And zero, 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 one. And that means that if P is the coordinate matrix of the original view and P prime is the coordinate matrix of the transformed view, we can express P prime in terms of M1 through M5 and P simply by writing P prime is M5 is last in its rotation, so it's multiplied by M4, which is multiplied by M3, which is multiplied by, we could do a M2 plus M1P, but I'll just put M1P first because we have to multiply by um, P in order to, let's see, we wanted to scale it, and then we're translating it, so we'll add that at the end. So plus M2.